anniversary gifts to perhaps toll in our bag as uh, Exotic Youth is back. But you can tell it's only two of the three as, of course, Cornelius Pepperbottom taken up by that right hand earlier tonight. The governor's the, hammer. The governor's hammer, that's right. And so uh, this is a high-profile match. In fact, I believe uh, during the pre-show, you got this your co-main event. Absolutely, man. I have heard nothing but hype online about this matchup. Yes, we have a huge Southern Honor title match coming up in just a little bit. But the other match everybody was super hyped about was this match, the infantry returning to take out Exotic Youth. Absolutely. And I didn't say to take on Exotic Youth, I said I to you. take out I Exotic you. Youth. You were very, very specific about that. And this is a major match for Exotic Youth. Talk about proving ground. Talking about really needing to prove yourself. Here it is, it's not just taking on, you know, SHW alumnus, but it's taking on her Ring of Honor and AEW tag team. You gotta imagine exotic youth that they can get a win over the infantry tonight. They absolutely are putting themselves in line for an SHW tag title shot. I mean, yeah, it'd be huge for them, but let's be honest. This is Carly and the captain we're talking about. It certainly is, and I'm gonna tell you something. I am so excited for the return of the infantry who provided us, I believe, one of the biggest moments of our calendar year. We'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. This crowd is coming at Glue TV. They absolutely are. Earlier tonight, we said welcome home, of course, to uh, the Queen. Well, we gotta welcome these guys home because these guys are SHW originals. They are SHW faithful. They have been all around the world and I, 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 where they found their baby, they're back home. And I'm telling you, they came home to TCB. Take care of business. Take care of exotic youth and take them out once and for all. Man, this is gonna be good. And this what an entrance, what an entrance here. I'm telling you, our guys. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, my man. My guys. Yes, oh, Kevin, how are you? So sir? good to see them. Let me tell you something. I got to actually spend some time with these guys last week in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm telling you, the the, the fanfare for the infantry is all around this country. People love these people, but let me tell you something. These guys are home. And with oh, the, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait. Before the bell, Bryce Cannon and Zach Mosley right on the attack of Carly and Sean Dean. You know, I do my best to be impartial when it comes to exotic youth, but they could have at least allowed the infantry to someone enjoy their opportunity Ooh. to come home. But, uh, yeah, if anybody ever uh, was the Grinch here at Christmas, it's exotic youth. Absolutely. It's right in front of us here, Zach Mosley laying the boots to... Captain Sean Dean. You know, you, you gotta think about this too, that Exotic Youth ooh, ooh. is probably very upset about the kind of attention that uh, the infantry has received. Of course, everybody all over the country has been talking about the infantry. They've got their own merch, like they're doing massive things. And Exotic Youth really feels like it should be that. Carly Bravo, Sean Dean turning the tables here. And sending exotic youth into the guardrail at ringside. Think about this. And I still, we never heard a bell officially, have we? We certainly have not heard a bell. And uh, the last thing that exotic youth really wants to do is upset the infantry. The infantry, of course, has served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Ooh! And now we get a bell. Big time flatliner there from Bravo to that no good Bryce Cannon. Count of two. You know, think, think about the rise, the meteoric rise that we have the chance to see when it comes to Carly Bravo. Carly Bravo, who we have the, the privilege of seeing his first match. Here it is. Pop it. Rock it. There it is. Ooh, and chop it. My goodness. What a shot there to Bryce Cannon. Bryce Cannon in trouble. It's Carly this. Bravo on the attack with that boot right across the throat. Carly Bravo always had that swag, always had that glow, but the glow has gone up since the excited Ring of Honor, and I love to see it. Now Captain Sean Dean in the ring, shirt right to the face of Bryce Cannon. Gonna 
Gonna grab him by the tip. And take him right back down to the canvas. You talk about the captain. The captain was part of the formative days here of Southern Honor. You got caught a lot of his matches uh, here at SHW. He did so, so much, of course, before being signed to AEW. And uh, it's amazing to watch his ascent as well, as he has, of course, two wins over the current AEW World Champion, MJF. Absolutely, he does. Is I believe the only guy that can say that. He is. Hang on now as he tags back in, Carly Bravo, and another big shot to the midsection as Bryce Cannon, still in a world of trouble. Tag team work here by the infantry. Oh, double back suplex. The infantry, who has spent tremendous time together. And I'm gonna tell you something. These guys are the epitome of tag team wrestling. Oh, oh, oh. split the uprights. Certainly did. You know, when you talk about great tag teams, how they really- Penitent here. How they really form their chemistry by spending time together, studying tape, really working out together. That is the epitome of, of the infantry, but if we're honest, that's also a statement of exotic youth. Right, you're right, GB, and of course, you mentioned on the pre-show earlier the time that the infantry has spent in ROH and yes. AEW and all of these top tag teams that they have been facing off with. They're picking up a little bit each match, Absolutely. learning new things each match, Absolutely. and bringing that to their arsenal. Well, you know how it is when you've had the opportunity to work around greats or to get advice from great, or to sit in the, I mean, think about this, the tutelage that they get to, to really sit under. Not only do they wrestle these people, but then they get to go in the back, and they get to talk to legends. They get to take all of that and assimilate that into who they are right now. A little insult there from the captain to Bryce Cannon. You love to see it, a big shot. Meanwhile, you gotta think Exotic Youth is fully aware of all that the infantry has done, and they would love nothing more than to get a win over the infantry here tonight. You talk about these guys being the Grinch at SHW. Well, they do nauseate me. If there were three words to describe them, it would be stink, stank, and stunk. There's a captain. Still going to work, and now Bryce Cannon finally firing back, trying to get a little bit of offense, but it's not going to last long. As the captain answers back with that right hand. And think about this. This match is the infantry coming home, but it's not just them coming home. It's them coming home specifically to handle SAW. Captain taking Bryce on a tour of the ring the hard way now. Carly back in on the attack. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh man, oh. a fisherman suplex. you will love to see it. Will it be enough? No. Oh, please. I thought he had him. I thought he had him there. I'll tell you something. I had a chance to talk to Carly last week. The one of the things that he told me was he loves what he gets to do on that national scale. But he says he feels most at home when he gets to come home. And so he's so happy to be here. And so you've got to imagine he's going to go deep in his bag. Let's remember, this is the same guy who has a win over, what, three or four former SHW champions here before heading off to ROH. He certainly does. And you always hear Bryce Cannon say, don't touch the tip. Well, Carly, not listening, not going right after it. Now tagging back in, Sean Dean. And we even see Anthony Mosley's officially been in the match yet, has he? He has not. This has been taking uh, Bryce Cannon to the woodshed at this point. And I can't stand all three of them, but I can't stand Bryce Cannon the most. <laughs> For sure. Or I can stand him the least? Well, yeah. something like that. Either way. Either way. Oh, oh, oh. Man, Captain got hung up on that top rope from Zach Mosley. I just mentioned he still hadn't been in the match officially, but he's still effective from the outside. He certainly is, and we're talking about, you know, reflecting on the year. Think about Zach Mosley, and I know you don't necessarily want to talk about this, but Mosley has had quite the year. He had injured his back earlier this year, such that he could barely walk. So it's almost a miracle that he's back in the ring right now, and one would think after such a harrowing moment, that harrowing moment that he would, you know, change his ways. But uh, not exactly. He does not look like the man in the mirror. He's not going to change his ways. Instead, he's going to continue doing what he's been doing and hoping that that produces a victory. Well, he is the fresh man, and Cannon finally got him tagged in. Nice northern lights. Yeah, suplex, penitent. No, just two. <laughs> And that's one of the things that uh, he lost this year was that million dollar mullet. He being, of course, Zach Mosley. The referee is being distracted right now, and Exotic Youth is taking full advantage of that. Come on, Carly. Come on, Carly. You're not doing your partner any favors there. I understand the frustration. Yeah, he's very, very frustrated right now. 
And, and of course, it's out of you doing what they do best. When the ref's back turn, why not take advantage? Absolutely. This is one of the reasons why the late great Gorilla Monsoon Ooh. would advocate for two referees during a tag team match, one inside and one outside, because it's really hard to keep track of all the action. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this here from Zach Mosin now fighting the middle finger of Sean D. This is insane. And again, with the referee distracted, Bryce Cannon getting in, getting a piece. Come Absolutely on. Absolutely Come insane. on. I can't really fault Paul Santa. He's one of our, be one of our best officials. And he is. He's just doing his job trying to keep control here. He only has two eyes. And so the captain is in trouble right now, but he's looking to fight back. And he's fighting back, trying to get over to his corner. Carly Bravo is raring to go. John Dean in trouble as Bryce Cannon gets tagged back in. Look out, step up kick right to the chin. Just rock John Dean. And you know, I, I know you don't want to even consider what I'm about to say, but it's actually very, very possible that Exotic U at this point could land a victory over the infantry. I will say, if they do, that will be one of their biggest wins ever. Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Do I want to see it? Absolutely not. Of course you don't. And now Mosley tags back in once again. Sean Dean still in a bad way in enemy territory. Has a long way to go to tag in his partner, Carly Bravo, on the outside. Just itching to get back in here. You know, at the top of the show, uh, it was documented, well documented, the long-standing war that has existed. Oh, oh, oh so close. Oh. Between Exotic Youth and SHW, and uh, Exotic Youth would love nothing more than to end the year with a win here in this couple. Sean Dean just in a world of hurt, spine first into the top turnbuckle. But he avoids contact, ducks a close. Here hit. we go. And there's a tag to Bad News. It tattoos, and he's coming in. Rapid fire shots. Carly Bravo taking out Bryce Cannon. Carly Bravo. Big back body grab to Zach Mosley. Bravo is all over these guys. Look at that. Neck breaker to Bryce Cannon. And Bravo's fired up. He's fired up. He's ready to go. He's excited. These people are chanting behind him. What is Collins? One of my favorite. A little juke, a little jab, and a boom, a right hand right across the chin. Just rocked. Bryce Cannon, you love it. We love to see it. Oh! There, there you the go. BNT. BNT, will it be all she wrote? Oh! oh. Cannon barely kicking out at the last second. Normally that BNT produces the one, two, three. But unfortunately, that didn't happen tonight because Bryce Cannon is fighting uh, from a very deep well right now. Sean Dean back in. And look at this. There's a plan here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. That's one of my favorite things to watch right there. And he couldn't have it to a nicer guy. Oh, but he Cannon out. again able to kick out. Digging down deep. How did he kick out? Mosley now trying to struggle back up to the ring apron on the outside. Uh-oh. And I heard the call for boot camp. I think they're about to send Bryce Cannon to boot camp. Here, Here it go. comes. And they connect with this. It's all over. Wait, what? Oh, now come on. Oh, are you kidding me? We figured Pepper Bottle would still be laid out from the governor's hammer he took earlier from a go-go. I thought so. Somehow, Pepper Bottom still finding a way to involve himself in this matchup and cause a distraction. Wait a minute. The back of the ring, turn around, Sean! Oh! No! Bryce Cannon with the paddle just laid out oh Sean God. D. Carly never saw it. The ref never saw it. Oh, no! And now Mosley taking out Carly to the outside. No, not like this. Come on, come on, come on. Kick out, Sean! Kick out, Sean! Kick out! Oh, man! Sean D kicks out! At the very last second, Exotic Youth was certainly hoping that this would be their moment. This would be their opportunity, but it's not to be just yet. Whew, that was close. What a tag team match we are witnessing here. Exotic Youth. The infantry, a big tag. In comes Zach Mosley. The distraction from Pepperbottom was all it took to turn the tables here. And now, of course, oh, wait a second, Sean Dean sends oh. Bryce to the outside, but he just ate a drop kick from Zach Mosley. Bravo back in. Look out. Oh, oh, oh. Shot to the midsection from Mosley. Look for a kick to the head. But instead, a counter. Oh, oh. scissor kick 
And Carly Bravo just laid out Mosley. Laid him out. Now Bryce Cannon back in, shot in the midsection. Oh, flipping neck breaker. But the captain back up. Here we Hit go. The stomach. Double underhook. Oh, oh my goodness. And that backbreaker right across the knee. All four men down. What a match, GB. This match is incredible. I see why you call it the co-main event. Rightfully so. And uh, yeah, this is a wild one. And this crowd on the edge of their seat, as are we at ringside. Man. Anything could happen right now. Bravo, we see Bravo just went by the table. He is feeling the effects. Everybody is trying to recuperate, trying to rejuvenate themselves and take advantage of this moment right now. All four men are out of it. Bravo back up in the ring apron. He makes a tag in from Sean Dean. Zach Mosley looking for his tag team partner, but Bryce still down on the outside. Now forehead to forehead. Bravo, Mosley. Exchanging blows. Here we go. Center of the ring. These two teams are giving it their all. And now we're going to see how deep their well is. Where can they go? Thought I saw a blind tag there. There was. Bryce Cannon in. Oh! Great tag team work there. I hate to say it, but a deep stack here for Bryce Cannon. No! Sean Dean makes a save at the last second. Just in time. Zach Mosley assumed it was a three count. Because he wasn't looking. Absolutely incredible match we're seeing here. Now Mosley sending Sean Dean to the outside. And uh oh, once again. Oh, wait a second. The power is coming up. Oh! It backfired. It backfired. Super, super, super kick from Carly. And Mosley pushed the ref. Carly ducks a close eye for Ken. And a big right hand once again. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Send Bryce Cannon to boot camp. Oh. That's going to be it. Cover. Three. The infantry have done it. What a tag team match we just witnessed, GB. That was absolutely special. Woo, and man. what a match. We're seeing the endurance. We're seeing all of those great things that the infantry has learned at their time in Ring of Honor, and it paid off in a big, big way. But I, I know you don't want to say this, but Exotic Youth had an incredible show in here today. And look, I said it before, when they focus on the match, when they focus on the in-ring skill, and they don't rely on all these dastardly tactics, they can put on an incredible match, and we just witnessed that for the most part. For the most part. Of course, Pepperbottom getting involved. It ended up backfiring. Pepperbottom got laid out by a paddle for Bryce Cannon, which was awesome. But the infantry has continued to do their thing, and we see why they're burning it up in AEW, why they're burning it up in Ring of Honor. I am so impressed. What a homecoming for these guys. The infantry. Welcome home, my friends. That's how you do it. I love Good it. Job, guys. It's still Good your job. house. Still your house, brothers. Yes, sir. I love every bit of this. Now, wait a second, GB. Look back in the ring. Mosley grabbed a microphone. Oh, boy. Now we got to hear from these guys? Looks like we do.